Hi, scholars. Um, we are uh, solving word problems using bar models, and we are going to read this problem carefully. Remember, uh, the first step is to read the problem very carefully first, so we'll do that. All right, it says Mr. Gray sold 54 drinks in the morning. Mr. Frank sold 25 drinks at night. How many drinks did they sell all together? Now, I'm reading this problem and I'm trying to see, is this a comparing problem? If it is, then I'm going to have to draw the, um, the actual bars separately. If it's not, um, then I can use the part-whole model in which I'm going to um, just continue uh, the bar on, on the same drawing as opposed to making a separate um, bar that's uh, below the, the other bar for a compare problem. So, I read this um, and I didn't see anything telling me um, how many more than, how many fewer than, how many less than, how many uh, greater than. Um, and so, therefore, I'm going to um, interpret this as not a compare problem. So I can set up my uh, bar uh, continuous on the same bar. All right, it says Mr. Gray sold 54 drinks in the morning. All right, let me draw a bar. Remember, a bar is just a thickened uh, number line. And from here to here is 54, and this represents Mr. Gray. They're both Misters, so I'll just put a G here for Mr. Gray, just so I know what that information represents. All right, then it so says Mr. Frank sold 25 drinks at night. I'll just continue along here and from here to here will be Mr. Gray and that's 25 I'm sorry Mr. Frank Mr. Frank so this right here will represent Mr. Frank and then okay I've taken care of both of those pieces of information and then it says how many drinks did they sell all together they is Mr. Gray and Mr. Frank. Um, it's a pronoun that says Mr. Gray and Mr. Frank. So how much did they sell all together? I'm trying to figure out all of these drinks sold together. Okay, and as you can see here, um, I am putting these numbers together. Uh, I'm trying to find the whole or the total, so therefore this will be an addition problem. Okay. All right, so let's put these two numbers together. 54 plus 25 equals, and we will figure out the answer. Um, so I have 25 as 20 and 5. And let me add 20 to 54. Um, 54, 64, 74 and then 74 plus 5. Um, 74 plus 5 is 79. Okay? So we have 54 plus 25 equals 79. That's our completed number sentence. Remember, after the drawing that you have, you must have a complete number sentence. And then the last step is to finally answer the question um, that you were asked. Let's put the, this answer right here. And incidentally, um, if you do this correctly, you should be able to check to see if 54 plus 25 does equal 79. If it does, then you know that you did this problem correctly. That's the beauty of uh, a bar model. Okay, and then let's answer the question in a complete sentence. How many drinks did they sell all together? They sold... How many drinks all together? 79. 79 drinks all together. This is a great way to use uh, the mathematical practice of communication uh, to always be precise. Not just 79, but they sold 79 drinks all together. It gives some, uh, some meaning to your answer. Okay? I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, this bar model using a part whole. Um, there'll be some more uh, videos on bar modeling with part holes when it comes to subtraction. So look out for that one. Uh, it's called Bar Modeling uh, Part Hole for Subtraction.